All right, we're pulling into Joker Merchant Stadium, the site of Detroit Tigers spring training in Lakeland, Florida. Uh, Justin Verlander's getting a head start. He's down here about a month early. Uh, he's training with Javar Gillette, Tigers strength and conditioning coach. And uh, we set up the cover shoot last night. We're gonna come in, take some pictures of him for the cover of Stack Magazine, uh, watch his workout, talk to Justin and Javar, get the inside scoop on what MLB's best pitcher's been doing this off season. Your the first part you're seeing is, is just the dynamic warm-up is really what we're doing, getting the body to warm up, and it's not just you know gradually going through things slowly. It's we got to get going, we got to break a sweat. So uh, there's a lot of uh, core stability. We want to activate uh, the the neuromuscular system, get the body to learn how to fire properly, learn how to fire the right way in order. Uh, so stimulating the brain, waking the body up is really what we're trying to do. All right, so we're working the hips, rotating. It's almost like we were doing it down the ladder, but we just want to work on the quickness now. Put quickness, so you're in here, you're hopping two feet. All right, rotate the hip. All right, quick. Quick, you're gonna go for 15 seconds. Everything from 90 to 180s to even 360 degree turns. And the more you rotate, the more it's gonna you're going to have to learn how to balance and control your body. So uh, not only are you moving your feet quickly, but it's a, it's a body control uh, exercise. Go, go. And stop, good. This one you're just doing one side. You're going to hop in, hop out. OK? So it's similar to the pickup. We're just going to hip square. We turn it all the way around. We're turning it to where this foot you turn both both legs, this one in, right. out to here, facing this way. Ready? Go. Pop in, pop out. Pop in, pop out. Five seconds. That's it. Pop in, pop out. Look at the hips. Hand stop. Good. Things set down here. Pop in, Five seconds, you're going the other way now. You can put both feet in, so you can go here. Yeah. Ready? Ready? Go. 15. Go. And stop, good. One more right here, you get a long rest. Good job, long rest. Where's your heart rate at? Come here.
pretty intense? Yeah. Not a lot of rest in between? No, this is a... I think he judges this like a warm-up. Yeah. This is agility, hip quickness, which... I give him a lot of crap for it, because yeah. I say, well, you know, if I'm a pitcher, I don't need it. Yeah. But we definitely do. Yeah. You need more agility off the mound than people realize. Yeah. Today, we, uh, we went from that agility warm up and just the basic movements to get the feet under you and control the body. And then we go into more explosive movements. So um, basically the first, the first drill we did, it's, it's all half moons. It's based on, on a half moon setup. Sometimes we'll, we'll set up a full moon with, with 12 cones around. All right, this one, you're gonna start this way. Okay, and you're all, everything you come forward doing is the left leg, one. Okay, together, two, one step, three. Okay, I'm gonna come, I'm gonna be on this side. You're gonna have to turn and push off. Come here. Yeah, yeah. You're just gonna to toss it back. Turn and come back here. So I'm gonna be right in, in this area. Right. Just one step. As you saw when I started doing it, it's tough for you. It's you tough for you to get your footwork here. right, um, and you really have to think about that. But then you also have to think about catching the ball, doing this, doing that, stepping right. And uh, you know, for, for me, it's, uh, it's it's mind control. Which... Same thing. Oop, get that foot. Good, rest. I'm gonna make you reach now a little bit, okay? Reaching is just baseball specific. I mean, it's really sport specific. Well, They're putting one. different angles all the time. So we're trying, we're not always working the easiest angles. We're getting out there. They have to reach Good. for the ball, you know, get a ground ball. They're always, they might not be necessarily in the uh, balanced state. So, and then the football was just, uh, just to change it up rather than the baseball. It's a little bit bigger, so he's not, it's not going to require getting as low the or anything like that. It's just catch it, toss it back, and then we use the baseball when we start getting out there, and I want him to feel a ball just like he's going out and getting the balls. Same idea. Now you're running out getting the ball. It's a half moon, except we're doing it, we're doing it all to the left. Okay, so basically a pickup, pickup drill. Right? There you go. Ah, stop. I'm sorry. Turn that way. Always face that way. All right, you're always facing the lake. Sit all over the left. Yeah, so all your turns are to the left, but I want you to work on that drop step going diagonal. So you got to face the lake. Face the lake, start a point right there, and then to open yourself up. Yeah, that's what I did. So right here. Boom, and then you got to go that way. I haven't even gone to that way. All right, ready? Which one are you going to? I was at that one, then this one, then this one. All right, let's go that one, that one, that one. This one? Yeah. There you go. Good. Turn that way, and then drop step. All right. Now we're always facing this way. Right. Ready? Good. Good. When you do these, try to start in this position here so you can work on that. Because when we're, that's why we're doing it left and right. If you can work on inside foot, always pushing off, you don't want to do this, right? You want to go from here, drive off. So that's what you're trying to work on in each one of these is pushing off this right leg first. So going here. So the same thing we did, that's why we started with just the bounding. Same idea. All right? Yeah, good. There you go, good. Turn that way. Turn, boom. That's it, perfect. Uh-huh. That was both sides, right? Every day. Oh, man, I'm good. All right, so you're just going to do six. Rest, six. Are you going to catch them? Yeah, off the bounce. Touch the ground and come up. Actually, do the do it this way. You, why don't you start it with Doug? You want to help? Start with it on the ground. Yeah. Just catch it. Don't catch it on the fly, though. I don't <laughs> want you to hurt yourself. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Jeez. 
Don't swing it back under your legs, straight up. So just grab it? Yeah. You kind of like swing it back under your leg, straight up. Perfect. Good, one more like that. Perfect. Good. You know, essentially it's just to improve uh, explosive power through the hips. Um, and it's just using some resistance and it's speed explosiveness we're looking for, faster reps. So it's not heavy, heavy weight. It's a lighter weight that you can move very, very quickly. Uh-huh. You know, the power throws, right. I, I, I like those because, you know, you really incorporate your whole body into that, you know, especially your legs and your core and, you know, a little bit upper body, which uh, for me, legs and core are the two biggest nice. things there are. And uh, that, that exercise really harks on those. Oh, Charlie Horse. <laughs> nice one. Jesus. <laughs> what a shoulder bitches. <laughs> so, like this stuff we don't even start with in November. Yeah. You know, he'd like to do all this stuff because, you know, he wants to do more and more and more every time. Yeah. But when November comes around, it's, it's a little recovery stage. We're just trying to get back into the thing. We kind of got to balance everything out, and even though he's working hard, the quality of training is high. The, the quantity and, and what he's doing specifically as for a pitcher to help a pitcher's mm -hmm. performance isn't necessarily going to be used in November. We want to focus a lot on his strength, just pure, absolute strength, uh, core, lower body, um, rebuilding the shoulder endurance, and then getting into the season where we're working on more ballistic movements, more powerful movements. All right, so the last thing, take a look. Doug, you're gonna be right here. Okay, so you're split squat and you're gonna alternate. So if I'm facing this way, you're gonna jump into this position here. All right, All right. so catch the ball. You're right here, right here, right here. Right. All right. Just, just, I'm gonna toss the ball. I'm gonna toss you the ball, okay? So you're jumping, boom, okay. So, yeah, exactly. So it's not really a throw. It's just tossing it to me. You could toss it against the wall if you wanted to. So just toss it real quick, right there. So it's switch, switch. So you want to jump high, okay? All right. All right. You out here? Jump. 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 How high do you want me to jump? Like that? Yeah, there you go, there you go. See, there you go. Backhand forehand drill. That's the first time I ever did it. It was, it was, uh, it was tough. And uh, you know that that's one of those things that we'll talk about. And uh, next time he'll he'll you know how did you like that exercise? And I and I liked it because you know the coordination aspect. And then uh, especially once he started, he can he can throw the ball farther and make me get deeper in my legs. And so he saw once I started getting down a little bit, you know he took it to the next level, and I had to really get down there and really uh, fatigue my legs, which uh, which was good. All right, so jump high. Just flip the ball back. Just flip it. Okay, ready? There you go, you got it right there. That was yeah, it. Yeah, that, that was it. Rest one more time. One time I'm going to have you reach it over me. Get up there. Three, two, one. Ooh, the legs are getting tired. Backhand, forehand drill. That's it out here. It's called the backhand forehand. 
Yeah, but more course power and strength. I think that takes a little coordination. Yes. <laughs> a little bit. Feel your legs getting tired at the end there. Yeah. That see, drill right there. First couple I did it was up here just to get the hang of it. Yeah, I checked And then it was down low. Now that drill right there is advanced. I mean, there's not, not everyone can do that drill. It's where are we at? What's coming easy to him? Where is he at? You know, this is going to be, we're trying to get to just one leg powerful movements. Well, that is gradually getting to one leg. You're on one, but you're kind of using two to help stabilize. And then we can start getting into more powerful one legged things where he's jumping and landing on that one leg. And I mean that's where that's that's the max type of plyometric yep. intensity wise that we'll get into. So that takes a lot of coordination too. Mm -hmm. Well it's a multiple response thing, that's what a lot of people call it, is trying to stimulate everything, the neuromuscular system. And so doing this is one thing, but adding the ball, having it get the reaction time, that's that's sport, that's uh that's baseball is just yeah. being able to react quickly and uh all that's put together will help do a lot more, you know. Justin just finished his flexibility, warm up, power and agility out on the field. We're gonna head into the weight room, do a little lower body training to finish off the training session today. When a lot of people lunge, they stagger it out. But if you can get in that straight line, when you're coming into a backhand and you gotta, you know, do a forehand, you gotta come get the ball. You typically get in a straight line, you can even cross over your body. So we're just kind of lining it up and he's making sure that his hips are straight. Thumbs up, three, two, one. Out to the side, lean over more on the ball. Get your chest on the ball. That's it. Two, one, thumbs up. All right, but you gotta go through this whole thing six times. So this is all gonna be one. And then you rest 10 seconds and then repeat it. Uh, at 90, six seconds. You that six times? That's one. Rest 10 seconds, repeat it. Oh, I know. It doesn't take yeah. much, man. And you're sitting here trying to hold like this, <laughs> and he's pulling back. I do those, and then uh, all the days I throw, I do manuals too, which I, you know, basically I sit on the train table, and I've got one of the trainers resisting me up, yeah, and pushing down, and I resist down. Which which direction? I do you go? this, this, these, these. For uh, right now I'm at two sets. I work my way up to three. Do you do, do, you do that before? The table. Yeah. Up. Do you do that before you throw? No. Not after? Yeah. And then do you ice usually after you throw? or huh? Do you ever ice after you Not throw? Not this time of year. During the season During the though? During the season, yeah. It's uh, condensation on that. Last 
Perfect right there, that last one was good. That last one was good. Push, three, come on. Sit, drive, that's it, through the ground, through the ground. Push, one more, use the hip. Drive up there. As a pitcher, it, you, you want to be careful with your upper body. Um, if you get too big or, or too strong, you, you tend to lose flexibility a little bit. Um, and, and there's a fine medium. I'm not saying you can't work out upper body. I work out my upper body pretty pretty hard, but you got to retain your flexibility. You get your, you know, I get my arms stretched a lot, so to make sure I'm not losing anything. But my legs, I, you know, being able to just have strong legs and, and a strong core uh, is a main thing as a pitcher. Open up. Nice. Come on now. Three more. Come on. Two more. Come on. Push. Oh ho. Push. Yeah. I hate that. It's good though. It's like running 100 yard dash. You just can't breathe afterwards. Three goals you have in mind. First thing is you got to avoid injury. So where the squat is really to is really that power generating, maximized performance. Uh, the lunge is let's try to decrease injury and hopefully it'll transfer over and maximize performance. But first and foremost, reduce the likelihood of injury. Then we can get into uh, the maximizing performance. <laughs> Because I want him to get into more one-legged jumps and things like that, working on one-legged decelerating. Uh, that one leg needs to be strong, needs to support the body weight, and not only body weight, but when you're moving at a very quick speed and you have to stop on a dime, natural forces, gravity and, and momentum, they're going to put a lot of load, so we got to make sure that that one leg can handle that load. There you go. Get down, yep. yep. It's all right. That's it. One more. Good. One more. Good. All right, rest. One more set. 
Couldn't use this as a pull stick. It's not a good pull stick. Now try to get deep. Let the hip flexor relax. Let your hip just kind of collapse. Sit. That's it. Push it out there. One more. Sit, sit, sit. Nice. All right. Good, 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 good. You hold the weight out here, adjust the center of gravity so it's a little bit easier to get a little deeper. Because he's just starting this movement, it's really just let's get the range of motion. Let's get him used to it. And, uh, you know, but by the end of four weeks, hopefully he's not, he's going to be holding it down here. And he's going to be holding the lighter dumbbell. Don't lose it, though. Don't, you know, let everything loosen up. All right, or you're going to hurt yourself. So stay, stay strong through here. That's perfect. That's it. One more. Sit. Good form now. Drive up there. Good job, Justin. That's it, good. Hey curl, yeah? I'm gonna put I'm gonna do the resistance on there. Give yourself rest. For every run I write, it's 25 the life. There was so much to get to trust, they guard on my life. Do uh we'll do it on the bench. We're gonna do a glued hammer as a reverse hyper for your butt. For your Instead resisting of, me? Yeah, it's like you're raising both of your legs up. I'll show it to you. But first, let's do this. We're going to superset them. It's a two-joint movement that we move into as we get closer to the season and we continue to incorporate during the season is a leg curl on the ball. Just because it's a multi-joint, it's, it's working the stability in the hips a little more. You have to get the glutes to fire first before the hamstrings, so it's, it goes along those lines. One more. Pull. Good. All right, come over here. We try to incorporate this exercise. Now you got to work a little harder to concentrate and get the muscles of fire right and balance. And uh, you know it, he made it look easy, but that exercise is very difficult to do. So first thing is the flamingo part is he's just not moving, and we're just flipping the ball back. He's got to stop the ball. He's got to just stabilize and try not to lose his balance. We'll do that 15 times, and then I'll back up a little bit and I'll throw it out. So he's got to reach for it and just do a one-legged, uh, stiff-legged deadlift, and he's got to catch it now. When, he, when you throw it up and he comes out to catch it, 
he's got to really slow the ball down, almost bring it to a stop, and then bring it down to his toe. Come on, one more. You're done. Good job, bro. Good job. Hell yeah.